Hello everybody, this is Joan Wood with the Stuart Bell Jr. Archives at the Hanley Regional Library System. Have you ever wondered how you can find uh, photographs that we might have at the Stuart Bell Jr. Archives? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go to the Hanley Regional Library website, which is www.hanleyregional.org, and scroll down to where you see Archives and just clip into that. Okay, so to access the photographs that we have put online for you, you can either go to Genealogy and History Databases or to this where it says Photographs. Let's go up here to the databases. And we will scroll down to where it says Past Perfect. That is the program that our archives use uses to um, put these photographs online for you and to house them at the archives. Um, now our Past Perfect program is very easy to use and there are two ways that you can access these photographs. One, you can go online here and order them online or you can come into the archives and um, bring a thumb drive with you and for two dollars per photograph you can download those onto your thumb drive. Okay so let's scroll down and where it said visit resource website we're going to clip into that. Okay and this is just telling you what our online data collections are. And so we're going to go into photographs. And here we are. And here is the search engine for photographs. Now, this search engine, this particular one, does not really like addresses. So you see here it says 801 Amherst Street. If you were looking for 801 Amherst Street, uh, this is not the search to to use. We're gonna I'm gonna show you later um, how to use a keyword search, and it's a little bit easier to do it there than it is to do it just when you clip into photographs. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to search for a person. Now this search will give you the names of people, and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to use Gabriel Jones as a, an example, and I put his name into quotes, thus bringing down, I mean, you all know that there's a million Jones in the world, so this brings the choices that you get down a little bit, so you don't have to go through thousands of names. So here's Mr. Gabriel Jones, and we're going to clip into to his photograph here. As you can see, we have a title to this photograph, and we have this a session number. This is important when you are ordering these online, and even if you come into the archives, it's good to have this number because it's very easy to uh, bring up the images a lot faster with the accession numbers. And when you're ordering, you want to order using that accession number. Okay, so this gives you a little description of the photograph that Gabriel Jones, it gives you dates of birth and death if we have them. Um, we also try and give the date when the photograph was taken or you know, something along those lines. Um, we don't know the exact date, but we'll try and give you a range on some of these photographs. Okay. Now, if you clip in to the image, clip on the image, rather, uh, you will see that it comes up larger. And we have this right here, which is a mark that we have put on uh, these photographs, so you can't really copy them online. It's called a watermark. Um, you can copy the image 
but you'll have this watermark on it. So if you want to request an image, we're going to go down here where it says request image. Okay, so this form comes up and you just fill in all of the things here, your name, your address, etc. And we want to make sure that you will get the photograph that you want. So you make sure you use that accession number and the title uh, to ask for the photograph. So you would ask for Gabriel Jones and you would ask for the accession number that he is in. And then you would submit the request. Now these photographs, uh, they vary in prices. And so um, once you send in the request, we will send you back an email stating that this is how much the photograph will cost. And then you can either pay online or you can send a check. Okay, we're going to go back to the very beginning again. Now there's lots of different search criteria that you can use. You can use Christmas. And you'll see that uh, there's lots of different uh, photographs that are titled with Christmas. Okay, um, you can search for, uh, let's see. Now, if you were to put it in Washington Museum, you'd get a lot of stuff. But let's try um, Hollingsworth, H-O-L-L, Hollingsworth. And I put that in quotation too. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so we have a view of the Hollingsworth Mill. Jo Jonah Hollingsworth. And there's a lot of Hollingsworth things. It's the Grist Mill. As you can see, lots of Hollingsworth. So um, you can put down, um, let's see, Easter. See what comes up. Ah, Easter at Hopewell Meeting and all different kinds of things. So you can use whatever terminology you want to use uh, to find photographs and you'll be able to find, hopefully find something. Okay, so I told you I'd try and show you how to do addresses. So you, if you're living at a certain address and you want to see an old picture of that address, how you might do that. So I've gone into keyword search, I've clicked into that, and we're gonna enter our address here. And I'm gonna put that in quotation marks too. And you need to be very specific, okay? So 32 West Cork Street, we're gonna enter, we're gonna search for that, okay? And here's 32 West Cork Street. It's George Washington's headquarters. And that was what I was looking for. And so I bring it right up. And here's an older picture of George Washington's headquarters. Okay, taken by Fred Barr, um, who was a photographer in the Winchester area. He was a well-known photographer. And he was very prolific and had, took some really beautiful photographs, mostly portraits he did but um, we do have some that were non-portraits. So here's the date ranges, okay? We say circa 1899. Okay, I'm gonna try another address so you can see how this works. Okay, 15 North Braddock Street. As you see here, I didn't need to spell out north. I just put N. That should be sufficient. If it isn't, then I would spell it out. So here we are, North Braddock Street, which is the Stonewall Jackson home. And that's pretty much how this works. So the archives has many, many photographs and sometimes it takes a little time to go through all of them to get the right person that you want 
or to get the right place that you want. But we don't have just homes. We have portraits and many different types of photographs. Um, so I know that a big thing is um, the apple blossom. We have many photographs about apple blossom and the apple blossom queens. And so if you are interested in any of these photographs, just send us the image, send us the request rather, and um, we will write you back and let you know how you can get that image for yourself. And I hope that this has been an interesting tutorial for you. And I hope you enjoy looking through the photographs. If you decide that you want, you have photographs yourself that you would like to donate to the archives, just um, contact us at archives at hanleyregional.org. That's archives at hanleyregional.org. And we'll, you can email us and that will go to a woman named Tina who takes care of all these photographs and, and puts these in the Past Perfect program and does a wonderful job with it. So that is our tutorial for today.